we have launched a pet onesie back in December. This is perfect for winter walks and cold nights. The challenge that we have is actually bulk. It's very bulky and we've not uh, been able to consider that, that it will not fit our custom-made packaging. Our custom-made packaging is especially made so that it fits uh, the post box. So we ship it out via and post uh, locally and it does not cost more than 3 euro. And there is no way that the this type of material, which is fleece, would actually fit the box. Uh, and I can, uh, however way we fold it. So just to show you how... I, we have tried so much to to do it there so it is just it's just no way that that would actually close what we have found to be a solution for shipping bulky items is the vacuum seal that you use for the kitchen so this is for food but actually you can also use it for clothing so there are different types of buttons there. There's the dry, the seal, uh, and the dry actually automatically turns uh, seals it. But I normally use the vac because I am able to control the air that comes out of it. So also just to illustrate what's inside, you have to be conscious of what are the parts. Um, when you open it, uh, there would be a sealing uh, heater mechanism. That's the sealing part. So you have to be conscious of your product not being placed there because obviously it will damage your product. So you have to be careful with that. Now, uh, this is a rule that we, I actually purchased separately because um, it will provide me more. Uh, that when you cut it, obviously it's open on both sides so you have to seal it but you can actually purchase uh, ready-made vacuum seal bags in different sizes it just comes out cheaper when i use the roll you have to make sure that it kind of clicks on both sides when you make sure that it's already locked now that that's the red button and then when it blinks and it stops blinking and that's it it's sealed so now I'll just have to put in the uh, pet onesie inside and I'll just be folding it and try to insert it um, and how it will look like. So that's how I have been able to fold it up. So you see it's very bulky. I'll actually put it in horizontally uh, just to make it uh, more aesthetically pleasing in terms of presentation but actually that was just uh, flattened and uh, you'll see that in a while um, and I think I, I that was a big cut uh, I have to cut it down further because you have to make sure that part of it will actually the, oh, there is an opening to where to suck the air out so I'm cutting it to make sure that the opening will actually fit where the air is going to be sucked. So when you open it, that upper part there, that's where the air is going to come out. So that's press it in, make sure that the product is not touching the heating mechanism. And you close it again, make sure it clicks on both sides. And then once it's done, then you can press the vac. And that should take out the air out of it. As I mentioned, I usually do it manually. And then I press the seal button on the right side, wait for it to stop blinking. And then that's it. There, there you go. And that's an extra large fitting in the box. And it's ready to go. Thanks.